How's it going guys? Joseph from Other Woods here. Today I'm going to show you how I make my epoxy forms for all the epoxy river tables and river art. So to start, you're going to want to pick your material to make the form out of. I recommend uh, plywood or melamine or at the, at the very least good one side plywood. You want a flat surface. Uh, so melamine works the best because uh, uh, it seems to be a, a flatter surface than plywood, but this is made out of plywood. You're going to want to cut your uh, your material, whether it be plywood or melamine, to the desired size, your width, your length, and the, the thickness of the uh, of the actual pour. So after you've uh, you've cut all your pieces, you're going to get you're going to want to get a type of sheathing tape. Uh, this is tuck tape. It's a construction sheathing tape. Uh, it's a company uh, in Canada, um, and it, it works great for for the purpose of, of this uh, of the epoxy mold here. So you're going to want to tape all the pieces and then you get, then from there you can move on to uh, screwing the pieces together. I just have inch and a quarter screws here. Get your drill, uh, but the, the key points that I want to drive home here are the paint bowl or just the mold release spray and uh, caulking. So you want to use your uh, caulking around the corners and edges of the inside of the mold. Uh, so that there is no leaking whatsoever, and then after that dries and after you're ready to pour, uh, you're, you spray it with the mold release agent. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, screw this together, and then I'll, I'll come back and I'll explain what the next steps are. Now I'm going to caulk the inside corners and edges of the mold so we don't get any leaks with the epoxy. Alright guys, now that you've caulked the inside of your form, uh, you're going to want to make sure you get the uh, between the two side pieces right here. Let it dry, clean up your mold, get rid of any excess that you don't need, and then you can move on to spraying your mold release spray. If I've got a link in the description, you can check out uh, another mold release spray there. Um, set your pieces in the wood and get to pouring. Uh, if you have any questions, queries, qualms, or concerns, leave them in the description or the comment section below. I hope this helped you out. Follow along on Instagram at outofthewoods.works. And until next time, 